How many of y'all started the business to make money? Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you started the doggone business to make money. Let me ask you, look, check this out. For the ones who didn't hold, raise their hand up, for the guys that did, I just, I just want to help people. You think when Walmart opened up a neighborhood, Walmart, look, listen. When Walmart opened up a neighborhood Walmart, they didn't open the neighborhood Walmart up so you can save money on gas instead of driving to the super center. weird road. They didn't open up the neighborhood of Walmart for you to save money. Oh yeah, man, we, we know these guys probably riding 15 minutes. We're going to open up a neighborhood of Walmart so they don't have to drive to the super center. They open that up so you can stop going to the mom and pop store and we can keep all this money in the family. That's why they did that. They didn't do that for you to save money. Again, Now, you see, everybody is fine with that. Everybody is fine with with them doing that. Is this the time? No, this ain't the time. It's next time. But see, a lot of people don't like it when the small man, that's, see the small man making too much money. They don't like it when the small guy is making too much money. They don't like it. All right. For instance, I got this property. I'm let, I'm, I'm, I'm letting go. It's over. I, I, no. See, you're looking for a long guy that you can save money with. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. What in the world? I am not that guy. And here's what I mean by I'm not that guy. I'm about to give y'all an example of what I'm talking about. I got this property, right? This was a bi-weekly property. Bi-weekly all the way into the, to the grass stopped growing. I'm going to give y'all some context. We went through a drought all summer. A lot of the properties died off or browned off. Then we got a little bit of rain. Like now, we ain't had rain in six weeks. So pretty much all of my non-irrigated properties is over with. It's over. It's done. All right. Well, this one property, let's call this guy Nate. Let's call this guy John. Right? Now, pull it up on John property. Four weeks ago, I pulled up on John property four weeks ago. John needed a cut. John texted me, Gibson, I was going to tell you not to cut it. But I see you already cut it. I said, yeah, Mr. John, we kind of going into dormant, so you may need one more cut and the season's over. Okay. Well, let's go to monthly now. Now, in my mind, the season over. You want me to come back in four weeks and give you a final cut? That's fine. I just don't do that in the growing season. All right. So, now, when the four weeks hit, now, mind you, you know when I'm coming. You told me to come. So when the four weeks hit, I'm not hooking all of this. I'm not hooking all this up for one property. I'm not putting this monkey suit on, you call it uniform, for one property. I said, I just catch him the following week when I'm already out. Right? Today was that day. Four weeks and three days. Cutting the property. Now, I done this on purpose because I knew it was going to be something. I said, man, I'm going to send an invoice before I cut this property. I'm going to send an invoice, invoice first, and then we're going to go from there. All right, sent the doggone invoice. Cut the front. Made one swipe in the backyard. The wife come out. Hey, uh, I don't know if John told you, but he said he didn't want you to cut until he called you. I don't do that. I don't do that. John had to find somebody else. I said, oh, yes, ma'am. I said, uh. I was just going off of the text I got from Mr. John because he said come in four weeks and actually Friday was four weeks, but I came today. So four weeks and three days. That's right. John did say that, but he also said he texted you today not to come. I said, well, I, I didn't get a text message. He probably just should have called me because you said he just called you, right? Yeah. He, I just got his phone. Yeah. He should have just called me. I wouldn't have. I said, but I tell you what, I can just go ahead and load up and then, you know, I can just, uh, that'd be it, you know. And, you know, I like that you come, you're consistent and, you know, it'd be something, you know, he will probably call you. I said, no problem. I already cut the yard. I didn't edge, I didn't weedy. I already cut. I mean, at this point, at this point right here, I don't even care. 
I don't care. It's eighty dollars. I don't care. I don't care. I got twelve properties on the list. Out of the twelve, maybe five getting cut. The season's over. The season's over. I done made my money. Only thing to make now, leaf removals, pine straw installs, mulch installs, and the the people I'm doing that for, that's money in the bank. The pine straw, when I pull up on one property, 2700 that's in the bank. When I pull up on the next mulch install, three grand, that's in the bank. Those already in the bank, we order the straw, we gonna do it when I'm ready to do it. It's not time to do the straw right now because the leaves gonna drop all over the fresh straw. We're not doing them jobs until February. Leaf removals, I got a few I'm gonna be doing leaf removals for, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go hustle up a few while I can do clean. The bulk of my money is already made. I'm not about to sing and dance with John for 80 doggone dollars. That's just something I'm not fixing to do. All right, so I load up. I blew the driveway, loaded up. I'm not even worried about it, man. I ran my mower. I got to get paid. It's $80. It's $80. It's $80. It's $80. It's $80. John called me. Uh, as I'm loading up, the wife come back out. Uh, John wanted me to hold you here because he wanted to talk with you. I'm not waiting for John. And I'm about to go to Subway, get me a foot long. And then I'm about to go home and shower and go home and, and relax until it's time to go to my full-time job. I'm not, listen, this full-time job is paying me $29 an hour. To some people, that's good money. When everything's said and done, I'm going to be making like $1,400 to $1,700 a week on this full-time job. I'm about to, let's pause on the full-time job because I'm about to break that piece of trash down, down in a minute. All right, call Mr. John. Hey, Mr. John, how you doing? Hey, Gibson, uh. Yeah, uh, we haven't had no rain in the grass that need to be cut. John, I don't want to have this conversation with John. I said, oh, that's fine. I uh, I, di I didn't finish it. I just loaded it up and left. And Well, if you already cut it, I could pay. I said, no, nah, I deleted the invoice. I, I deleted the invoice, and I just went ahead and loaded it up. The grass need to be cut. The grass need to be cut. I am not running a business for your convenience. I am running a business to maintain properties, to keep properties looking good. I'm not taking over your property to cut it whenever it needs to be cut. That's a lawn boy. You're looking for a lawn boy. You call it a lawn service. It's a difference. See, a lawn boy will pull up on this property. Ain't that need to be done. A lawn service will pull up on this property right here. See, there's no trees around, so we can go ahead and fresh the beds up while we're here. You put pine straw in those beds. It's going to last the rest of the season. You aerate and fertilize and get out of here. I am a lawn service. A lawn boy wouldn't show back up over here in Tomate. I am a lawn service. Well, yeah, man, I just call you when I need you. He's not calling me when he need me. He is fired. I don't feel like having a conversation with man. I got to fire you because you are fired is what's happening. He going to call me. In a, he's not going to call me. He's not going to call me. I just cut it. His, man, in my, my eyes, it didn't need to be cut. But guess what? I left half of the front yard. You got one side of the front yard I didn't. You got about a four-foot wide spot I didn't cut. Needs to be cut. I left. I left. See, he's not going to call me because I just cut it. He don't, he's not going to call me. When I send that mass text out in March, hey, services will be starting up on this day. All of my clients know, third week in March, everything starts up. Everybody get their first cut third week in March. Three weeks later, we cut it again. So the third week in March, three weeks from then will be the second week in April. Boom, you cut again. From there, everybody is on the schedule. You get a cut the third week in March. You got the last week in March, first week in April, second week in April. Three weeks. The second week in April, everybody get hit again. Well, Gibson, the grasses did, didn't really grow. John. This right here, this first this first cut in April is to secure your slot for the year. This phone rings. This phone rings. See, that's why I don't like you because you're arrogant. I don't care. That's why you ain't my client. This phone rings. I'm not saving no slots. This is business. This is business. I'm not saving no slots. All right. So after the first cut in April, which is the second week in April, you get cut again, even if you don't need it. You're securing your slot. Two weeks from then, 
Everybody is on their schedule. Boom, boom, boom. Two weeks from the second week in April is typically knocking on the first week in May. You on the schedule, we rolling. You, your slot, slot is secure. John is the type of guy that's not gonna call me to the end of May, beginning of June. I don't want your I don't want your money. You're trying to save money. Your property isn't worth my time for you trying to. You have to do what's worth your time. So no, I'm not. When he when if see if I wouldn't have showed up on John property today, John would have probably called me a week before Thanksgiving, and I would have went and cut it. I already cut it, so it's nothing else going to grow. I just didn't edge and weed eat and blow down. Now, again, I don't want clients like John. I don't want clients like him. I don't want clients like him. You look as a lawn service or somebody to save money. Now, back to this doggone job I was just talking, telling you all about. This job is paying me $29 an hour. When everything's said and done, that job is going to pay me $1,700 a week bring home. That's $1,700 a week bring home. That's what that is. Now, that is a six days a week. I got to work six days a week to bring home that $1,700. Man, that's good money. That is $280 a day. I don't care nothing about hourly. I don't care nothing about time and a half. That is $280 dollars a day out of a 10 hour shift you are averaging 18 dollars an hour i'm making 29 dollars an hour six days a week i bring home 1700 dollars. you just break that up that's 280 dollars a day you break that up into a 10 hour day that's 100 that is 18 dollars an hour 10 hours a day 180 dollars give or take a few dollars how many 70 dollar properties you can cut in a run of a 10 hour day. Well, you ain't cutting right now. I got a cool supervisor on that job. He, he a cool guy. I can walk in that job with the big chest. I make more money than all that. That's not relevant. I do what the man tell me to do, I go home. This is temporary for me. This is not permanent. Again, you only have 60 to 80 years. When you're young, you only have a good 40 years. That's all you have is 40 years. The time you start working at 16 years old, the clock is ticking. You got 40 years. 56. When you 56, you ain't worth the crap to nobody. Why? Because the 26-year-old will run circles around you. I'm not gonna waste my time on nobody's job. I'm not gonna waste my time with a, with a client like John. I'm not doing it, man. I'm not doing it. I told y'all my money made for the year. This full-time job is to pay this dog on dump trail off, so I'm gonna get me an F-250. That's why I'm doing this. Now, with that being said, it's called standards. You have to have standards in business. If I fill my whole schedule up with clients like John, my season wasn't starting to dog on June, May or June. And then it'll stop in October or September. Why in the crap would I work for people like that? Let me drop $60,000 to save everybody money. Let me put this clown suit on to save everybody money. Man, that's the case. I could have stayed at my full-time job with health insurance, benefits, vacation time, and done this on the side. I'm not working for people like that. He is fired. Everybody that I wanted to can has already been fired and let go. Everybody I wanted to get rid of, fire, drop, it's already done. Everybody getting this price, this rate increase letter in about two weeks, uh, y'all price going up. I'm not about to sing and sing and dance with y'all. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Don't care how nobody feel about it. I'm about to pull up on this property right now. This guy wants some straw. I'm going to tell you how this going to go. I'm going to tell you exactly how this going to go. He want me to install him some pine straw. That's going to be every bit about 40, no, probably 30 rolls. All of my pine straw come out of Louisiana. All of my pine straw come out of Louisiana. For me to install them 30 rows on your property, that's $1,200. 30 rows is going to be $1,200. That's what it is. Well, man, I get the pine straw for $10. You got trash pine straw on your property. The pine straw they say around me, I don't buy none of it because it's trash. All of my stuff come from out of Louisiana, two hours away. And when I called Sanchez, 
I mean, when I call San Sanchez, I need some uh, pine straw. How many do you need, Gibson? I need 80. I'm not calling Sanchez for 30 rolls. It's not worth him to, it's not worth San Sanchez to drive two hours to bring me 30 rolls. Sanchez know when he called me, he get he about to get some money. Sanchez, oh man, that's Gibson. How many he need? 80? Send him. Sanchez about to make some money. When my number pop across Sanchez, he know he about to make money. <coughs> and I'm not going to tell y'all what I'm getting the pine straw for. for. Sanchez called me, he getting some money. He know that. So why would I, Sanchez, I need 30 rolls. Yeah, 30 rolls? That really ain't worth my time, bro. I know it's not. It's not worth for you to load up a dog on Isuzu NPR 3500 with 30 rolls, put two guys in the truck, pay them about an hour, drive them two hours to drop it off, and then drive back empty for another two. That's not worth it. You see, like I said, those other pastoral jobs are not scheduled until February. They're not scheduled until February. They're not scheduled until February. You want this now in October. I can do it now. But you got to open your wallet. And the conversation is going to go like this. Well, how much is the straw? And I'm explaining how I get straw. Well, call me when you get the straw. That's fine if you want to wait. Man, look.